in the media's misrepresentation of the facts yeah. is that KNTC had the capacity to directly procure the oil from Malaysia. It didn't. So it procured Kenyan farms. The procurement process wasn't fair because some Kenyans were locked out. And when it came, they were sold at 2,600 shillings. They imported at 2,000. So 2,600 plus VAT to retailers who will sell to you, me, and Mr. Cheng here. We will end up selling at more than even what local manufacturers are selling. What is the point then if cabinet but, but, approval but that, was, if cabinet approval majorly was to reduce the cost of living, yet you are selling the very same imported oil at a cost of more than even local manufacturers. But, but uh, on the import of this oil, the oil prices actually came down. On oh, 4,400 4, 4, shillings. Okay, Honda Boy Cheng, you had a point. Down. No, no, no. I, I think you know the, the, the issue here is the KNTC, the edible oil intervention, was meant to reduce the prices. And uh, on the whole, the prices went down. But uh, you must know that this is a market that has a lot of cartels. Mm -hmm. You'll find that one company that manufactures edible oils has three, four lines. You go to the market, you find the, the, this IU belongs to this company that also produces Yuchiang and produces Kagushia. Same products, different prices, and there's a, a lot of insider trading in there that makes the prices go up. And so GAM intervention was meant to make the situation better. Okay? And I agree with you on the fact that it would have been done better too. Yeah, it would have been done better uh, at the level of procurement. I think there was so much hurry. If, uh, you know, this I will say without any of contradiction, that as a country, we've had so many good plans on how we want to grow. Our problem has always been implementation. Mm -hmm. we, we sit down, prepare a very good plan, <clears throat> and hurry to launch, hurry to, you know, kickstart, without looking at some of the risks involved. I believe that um, what has happened in the KEMSA situation, in the edible oil situation, will give this government open the eyes and, and say that if you're going to go the same way in future, mm -hmm. we must do one, two, three. But on the issue of the nets, and even the edible oils, uh, Ayub, and uh, Honorable Agucha talks about local yeah. farms and Chinese farms. The bottom line on this matter is that all of them are going to be importing nets. None of them being produced locally. I, 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 would, be, I, I, would, be, <laughs> I, I would be happy mm. if even the Kenyan farms that were saying were locked out were saying, we produce these nets here. So why are we allowing a Chinese to import? I mean, if, if, if you're importing nets worth five, six, seven billion, and you've been doing this for the last 10 years, what is the best strategy? Say we are going to sponsor a farm to start producing the nets here with the specifications required. I mean, if you want, you look for another question you asked earlier about why we are not growing. Yeah. It's doing the same thing. I mean, if you import edible oils worth a billion shillings, whom are you keeping at work? The Chinese manufacturer of the edible oil, not a Kenyan, Kenyan consumer. So I believe that we are going to, as we try to stabilize the economy and lower the cost of living, there are things that we are saying that you must do. And that's why the Finance uh, Act, we have put taxes on some things on areas where you want, we are saying that we better buy Kenya to build Kenya. <clears throat> and, and, and I would, where I sit, even where it's going to cost us a little bit more, mm -hmm. I believe that on things like edible oils, things like those things we're calling nets, mm -hmm. if you know, for example, the, the budget we're passing, how much money goes to purchase of furniture from Singapore and China, if you know how much money goes into importing even this glass we're having here, a lot of money, things that we can produce locally. And so I, I believe that as part of our duty as Kenyans and public servants and, mm -hmm. and, and leaders yeah. is to walk the talk. Are you, there's no country, in my opinion, that has as good policies as Kenya has. Policies, in terms of you know, policies and preparing them and, and in implementation becomes a problem. Okay. Because there's this, this, there's this politician, the member of parliament, who has, wants to build a classroom this nicely, but he's being told, wait a bit, let's do that. Oh, no, I want, to I want to launch it tomorrow. You're being told, wait for this. On, I mean, we cannot do that. We saw this in SGR. SGR was more than half a trillion Kenya shillings uh, worth of project. No single company came up because of SGR in the country. Yet the building of the, the, the other meter railway that was run by the colonialist led to almost all the times you see along the way from Mombasa all the way to Busia. 
because of our hurry to implement and the, the quick back system. Okay, and where we, people, people don't want to do things because they are good and they're service oriented. People look at things and uh, we are doing this, how much are we going to get make from it? If we don't come back to the culture of saying we are building our country, this is our country, no one else will build it for us and say that if this phone costs 100 shillings, We'll better under shillings. We must put our kickback of future shillings. We'll okay. never move anywhere. And, and talking about uh, the, the uh, resource malfeasance, uh, the Auditor General says, uh, for example, because we have largely talked about governance and what needs to go into it, uh, Kidero and Songo regimes, for example, in the city of Nairobi, um, hid 18 billion Kenya shillings on source revenue, revenues. That's according to a report by the Auditor General and City Hall revenue collected versus recorded revenue according to this report by the Auditor General in the years between 2016 and 2019 <coughs> and uh, declared, not declaring the staggering 18.46 mm. billion Kenya mm -hmm. shillings. Mm -hmm. That's um, nearly the mm -hmm. one financial year's yeah, allocation yeah. to the country. Because in our country, crime pays. In our country, it, it, are you it's all what pays? we talked about here. In our yeah. country, the hard work never pays. We've turned the rules around. In our country, crimes pay, crime pays, and if you are a criminal and you are rich because you stole, you are a hero. People elect you to office. Right. Let's now shift attention, and uh, Winnie, if we can have uh, uh, this.